All right, so we're gonna do another Cush core install here. This time I'm gonna capture it. This is a set of the 27.5 plus Cush core inserts from my man Matt Miner here. So let's see how long it takes to put them in. You know, there's a lot of complaints about how difficult these things are. I'm totally gimped out still, just coming off of some serious injuries. So let's see what I got. So I like to put these in a little bit different than they recommend, mainly because I don't like to have to go, put the tire back over the cush core once it's on the wheel. So when I'm installing them in tires that are beaded up, I like to just take one side off. working with tubeless get the sealant all over you it's always fun and exciting all right so if you got somebody with muscles like Matt have them stretch out the cush core and try to make it fit in a little bit easier but then what I do is put it in the open side feed it around so it's kind of in position Put the thing in your stomach and start working it around one side and the other. There you have it. Two minutes. You can see how difficult it is. I'm sweating. So then you start feeding the tire bead back in on the opposite side from the valve core. I'll show you in a second why. You'll notice I'm not using any tools. When the tire's got sealant especially, it's nice and slippery, so it goes together real good. So pop the tire on as far as you can toward the valve stem, and then go back with your thumb and just push the tire down into the drop center really good. Like that. And usually, that enough get the tire on keep checking because it likes to sneak back out see you there baby and there you have it one cush core installed and actually I probably can put the core back in because this thing's gonna likely bead right up
you usually run in your front? 24. All right, I'll put that in there just so it's a little bit a little bit over right now. Okay. So when you get to the trail, yeah, I'll check it. set your pressure so they're where you want them. So that's one end. Now we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the rear, as you can see. It's not that challenging. Just got to be a little smarter than the than the insert or the tire. A little coffee for power. My buddy Matt brought me some coffee this morning to inspire me to install these for him. I'm really excited to get his impression. He's gonna be riding with my buddy Daniel, AKA Pinch Flat on Instagram, who I also recently set up with these things. And I believe he is very happy with the performance he's getting. Who wouldn't be? Yeah. A little tip for you, always try to leave this thing in the bottom ring. Okay. There's a spring inside the derailleur and you load tension on that spring when it's in the higher gears. And if you wear that spring, you'll notice that its ability to hold tension when it's all the way in okay. becomes compromised. So. This is a great way to start your morning. All the Rob Drew nuances. That's right, you gotta know all the tricks of the trade, buddy. We don't want you looking like a rookie out there. Again, break the bead on one side, you choose which, doesn't really matter. sneak out on here. But it's important. You gotta have a little belly to hook over the top and keep it in there. Work it a little at a time from each side. Notice I'm not using any tire levers, just my thumbs. Mm 
again go back and push the tire down into the drop center. That's going to give you the space you need to finish putting the, the tire back on. There you have it, number two. Nice job. Yeah, so Cushcore recommends taking the tire all the way off. That does make it pretty easy to install the, the Cushcore insert, but I just find it's as easy for me to do it the way I do it, and, it, and I don't have to break the bead on the other side of the tire, which makes reinflating real easy. Also, I've had trouble in the past trying to get the tire over the insert. Uh, that proved to me to be a little bit more difficult than the way that I do it. So I'm not saying they're wrong, certainly not. And for some people that may prove to be an easier way to install them, but I found this way to be really easy. And uh, I've done it now on probably 20 sets and not run into a wheel configuration or a tire setup that was troubling, with the exception of double down. You know, if you're running a double down, you got to understand that that casing is stiff. It's going to make it more challenging to do. But uh, that's how my brother runs it on the rear of his bikes, and I've done several sets for him. And uh, this same technique works pretty well. What do you run in the rear? 25. All right, again, I went over. Okay. No, you're good. I'll say that. Now. That's usually where I set it when I'm setting the beat. Yeah. Yeah, it usually takes about 30 to get it to give you that good pop. Mm -hmm. All right, so there you have it. Full Cush Core install. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. That might be a new record. Including coffee. Yeah, including stopping to sip some coffee. So if you have any trouble, reach out to me. I'm the Rob Drew on Instagram, or you can find me Robert Drew on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Rob Drew. And uh, happy to answer any questions about Cushcore if you have them. Thanks for watching.